What's up, everybody? This is Twitch, and welcome to another Retro Gamer Ranting Vlog. I haven't done one of these in a little bit, so I figured I'd give it a try. So, I was away for about a few days. Um, last week I didn't post much until, let's see, I left on Sunday, got back Friday, I went on vacation, that kind of stuff. So I went an entire week without uploading something, which was like murder to me. I mean... So that was kind of relaxing, um, and it was relaxing, but it was so weird because I, I really missed, like, the weird routine I have of uploading stuff, because I just started my LP of Warhammer 40k Space Marine, and I was actually doing fairly well for, for me, you know, viewership-wise. So I kind of felt bad that I had to stop uploading for, like, a week, because I got up to 10 episodes uploaded, and then uh, had to quit. Uh, for the week, and then come back, and, uh, so anyway, I'm back to uploading again. Um, so as usual, uh, enjoy the random game footage in the background, I'm not sure what I'm going to have right now, uh, and, uh, today I basically wanted to just sort of talk about what I missed while I was away, I don't really know if I missed much, I mostly just wanted to talk about, uh, the Tokyo Game Show and Nintendo, uh, mostly just Nintendo's, um, plans with the 3DS, uh, again, the Tokyo Game Show mostly talked about Skyward Sword, 3DS games, there was a lot of really cool stuff announced, Monster Hunter, uh, Dragon Quest, that kind of stuff, but the main, uh, news that I got out of it was the new slide pad, I think it's called the slide pad, that will be an attachment for the 3DS, so you will have two circle pads, uh, instead of just the one, Right from the beginning, I thought there should be two circle pads. I don't understand why Nintendo went with just one in the first place. And just when Nintendo is finally getting back on their feet, sales is up for the 3DS. Things are really starting to turn around for the 3DS, at least, and for Nintendo. They decide to come out with this hunk of junk. I don't know. I'm, if I remember, I'm going to try and put a picture up of it with this. But it's it fits on the back side of it. Apparently, it gives you new shoulder buttons too, so the shoulder buttons are more comfortable. And the new slide pad, as it's called, uh, I guess, slide pad, circle pad, I'm just going to call it the circle pad, is set up right next to the action buttons on the right, right next to it. So not only is it in an awkward place that doesn't make sense, where it should be under the buttons instead of next to it, it makes the 3DS a lot bigger to carry around, plus it takes like two to four AA batteries. Uh, hello? Um, I'm going to actually quote K-Wing here. I watch his stuff. And he, he basically, before the news uh, came out officially with the details about the slide bed, he actually had a good idea. He said uh, they should add an extra battery pack to it to help extend the battery life of the 3DS, which uh, was one of the problems. So I'm not taking credit for that. That's what K-Wing said on his K-News before any extra news came out. And um, he was hoping to Nintendo would be smart like that, and at least if you're going to have this big hunk of junk attached to your 3DS, it'll uh, extend your battery life. And I thought that was brilliant. And, of course, Nintendo didn't go along with that. In fact, just made it so you'd have to spend money on it. All know that this just means down the line they're going to come out with a 3DS that will have the circle pad already on it. Uh, everyone who uh, got the 3DS when it was brand new or before this uh, is going to get stuck with this big hunk of junk that they have to attach to it. I'm probably going to end up getting it because all these new games coming out uh, will be using it. And it just makes sense that they should have had it in the first place. So, Nintendo, I love you. And it seems like you take two steps forward and three steps back. Uh, in this case, I don't think it's three steps back. You take, you know, I think you've taken, uh, at least with the 3DS in the last couple uh, months, uh, at least three steps forward and two steps back with this little thing. I just, it doesn't make sense. They could have integrated this attachment, made it a lot smaller, made some kind of hookup so it's not so bulky. I already have a hard enough time sticking the 3DS in my pocket as it is. And now if I want to go somewhere with it, I have this extra contraption that I have to go with it. So I don't know. Nintendo, I don't know what you're thinking. So I'm kind of ticked off about that. In the first place, you know, they said they weren't going to be doing something like this. And then they go and do it. So, thank you, Nintendo. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate another attachment that I'm going to have to pay, what, I think, 20 bucks for, or 20, 30 bucks for, and then have to buy batteries for, 
Not that I already go through enough batteries as for my Wii remotes. Uh, so I'm kind of mad at Nintendo uh, over that. And it's not really the best way they could have integrated a new slide pad, a new circle pad. And of course it makes sense in the first place to have two circle pads. It just works for games like a first-person shooter or something like that. Yeah, you can use the stylus. I know there's first-person shooters on the DS that worked out, but it's just we should be going a little more forward here. I mean, it took us forever to get four buttons uh, on the, like, the Game Boy Advance had four buttons when everyone's expecting them to have six, kind of like the Super Nintendo gamepad. And finally we get to the DS and we get our six buttons and now we're we, you know we're getting not our analog stick but a circle pad but we only get one of them so it's kind of like we're finally to the n64 era of game controls only in the handheld world and so now we're getting that extra circle pad but at a price and at it looking unsightly and bulky and costing us more money so i don't know shame on you nintendo maybe you'll, you are going to come out with a 3ds in the future that'll already have it integrated we already know that's going to happen just People like me who already own the 3DS, well, we're going to get stuck with this unsightly thing. So anyway, what do you guys think about it? Do you think Nintendo uh, was able to uh, woo people at the Tokyo Game Show? What do you think about that circle pad? Are you going to get it? Or do you care that it's bulky? Or do you think they're going down the right path? Are you mad at them? Are you excited about that? And at least the games they announced were exciting. So, you know, I just wanted to complain. <laughs> I'm in one of those moods, so, but I don't know. So please leave your comments down below. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Ad nauseum. I really appreciate it. Thanks for listening to me, folks, and thanks for watching. Till next time, game fans, this is Twitch. Keep playing.